still getting over the shock of that. Yeah, it was a horrible little uh, finish that. It was not a nice way to finish. Um, I mean, I'm glad I'm all right, but it's just a shame, you know, Robin and Chris come down. So. Yeah, yeah. Just talk about that, that actual sprint, because yeah. um, well, it's quite uh, narrow. Yeah, it was, uh, to be honest, I didn't feel great today, but uh, I said to, it was between me and Rob would decide who would uh, would lead out on the day, and then coming into it, you know, the last 10 laps, seven go for Rob. But just how it played out, um, we didn't commit to a full lead out, it was just like me and Rob surfing the wheels. Um, around this technical part around the back, Moldy um, led it round, and um, he, you know, it's technical, so we just he kind of took it easy through there and kicked out the last tight corner, and we ran right up to the motorbike. I don't think we knew how fast we were coming, so into the last sweep and bend, we were right behind it. Then that gassed off, Moldy opened up, and that was just like perfect lead out for me. So, you know, I just had, even though Rob was behind me, I just had to go for it. You know, he might have got yeah. Probably. And at, at what point during the during the melee at the yeah. finish day, where you you actually crossed the line, where you put off the pedal? Yeah, well, I, as soon as I got within like 100 metres of the line, I knew I could, you know, I was waiting with a chance of holding them off. Mm. So I just fully, well, I was obviously already committed. So I just yeah. kept going, and um, I could feel them coming up on me. I think um, there was someone on the far left, and I could just feel whoever it was up on my left, and then there was just a big coming together, and I, they came into me, and it forced me into some clip uh, to kind of count on my balance. So um, yeah, just me across the line on the bike. <laughs> But a great, a great result for the, the team after yeah. after what's happened this year. Yeah, I mean, another victory because that's your second. Yeah, second, it's know. a shame about the uh, Tour of Britain thing. I think you know the qualification thing is a good idea, mm. but end the day, if, if one team's not in one of the qualifying events, it's mm. it's flawed. You know, you yeah. can't, no one can argue any different. Yeah, we messed up a couple of rounds, but it's not right that you know that, you know we, we weren't in Yorkshire. Um, yeah. And you've just showed that you are. One yeah, of the we've top proved teams. we've proved it. Like even in those crits, you know, all, all year we've proved to it. I mean, all five teams I've proved they deserve to be there. Um, so it's, yeah, it is a shame we had to lose out, but it's what it is, and we're just gonna yeah, hold, our, hold our heads up. Eh? <laughs> so, next yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you got coming? Uh, we're doing a block in Leicester. I'm not doing uh, not Leicester, Belgium. Sorry, oh. uh, I'm not doing Rydale. Uh, oh. Doing some like UCI race in Belgium to finish the season. So oh. yeah, sounds good. And your first year back back into a British team after um, yeah. the Dutch team that you're with. Been a success? Yeah, I loved it. Every minute it's been mm. really good setup. Um, yeah, along with the, you know, the breathing problems that I had last mm. year, it's just a great, it's been such a positive year. Um, you know, that's, there's a slight down on the Tour of Britain, but you know, that's the pressure of bike racing and mm. getting used to it. But it's been, yeah, I've loved it. It's been fantastic.